Well, Coach, uh, first off, uh, national ranking 22nd uh, has obviously a reflection just how you guys have played uh, so far. But anytime you're national ranked, uh, it, it's, it's something good for the program. It is. It's, it's great recognition uh, on a national level uh, for the program. I think it's great recognition for our conference to have two teams in the, in the top 25 and three teams that, that uh, will have been in it just into the third week of the season. So uh, we know that this conference is, is, is uh, very even. It's also got good teams. And we've done well as a conference out of conference already with uh, Azusa going down and beating West Texas, uh, you know, Central Washington beating Kingsville. Uh, and, and Western New Mexico, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Western Oregon being Western New Mexico. So uh, again, that always helps uh, when you you know you, you win out of conference games to uh, to let the other uh, leagues and the other conferences across the nation know what we're doing here in the GNAC. So it, uh, it it's great uh, recognition for what our players have done thus far. We also know that it goes away quickly if you don't take care of business. Uh, you guys. Uh at home over the weekend against Simon Frazier, get to win Weber uh, with his honors and just what he accomplished uh, on the field. Uh, definitely leading that offense right now. He really is, and, and he's had two outstanding games, 83% uh, completion percentage against Simon Frazier. And he's got a lot of weapons that we surround him with, more weapons, uh, I think, than, than we've had in the 10 years I've been here, uh, with depth at the receiver position and depth at the running back position. Uh, and, and uh, a very, very good offensive line that can go seven, eight, nine deep. So, uh, again, uh, pleased with what we've done. Obviously, Saturday against Simon Frazier. Uh, Simon Frazier, you know, fought hard early, but they were outmanned, and, and, and eventually I think that, uh, that showed. Uh, but I was really pleased as we were able to play all of our players, empty our bench, that the, the level of play did not drop off. I think that says a great deal about the quality of the depth that we have. That, uh, you know, really from the first play of the second half, we were twos and threes in the game uh, throughout that second half, and, and yet they still continue to execute. They were very efficient and made plays, and that was good to see. Um. I was, I was thinking while you're talking. That's that's never never. never don't good. think, man. I, I know. Don't I know. It's, it's it's never good. Uh, you guys go on the road this week at uh, Western Oregon in the GNAC. There's no easy place to play on the road, and uh, Western Oregon being one of those places. You guys have had those battles over the years. Some exciting games, not you know the some good outcomes, bad outcomes. But the, what uh, what is it about playing up there that makes it difficult? Well, the first thing is the opponent. They're always a tough, tough opponent. They're extremely well coached. Arn does a, a great job uh, up there with, with, with that program. And, and uh, uh, you know, it's a grass field. It'll be a day game. Uh, but again, you, you always start with the opponent. The opponent, Western Oregon, is, is they're physical. They always have played us tough, and we've had some great games over the years. But, uh, yeah, it, 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 uh, we've won two straight up there. So let's hope that, uh, you know, that, that uh, difficult place to play, that, that now it's just go up, play your best, and, and, and the best team will come out on top. And, and, uh, uh, but again, it, it, uh, you, you start by giving credit to the opponent, Western Oregon, and what they've done. And uh, there's a very, very nice rivalry that has been developed between Western Oregon and Humboldt State. But again, it's a rivalry born out of respect for one another. And so, you know, we split last year, I believe, uh, the year before we were able to get them twice, and I think we split the year before that or something. You know, it's just good, hard-fought battles. Uh, it's always going to be that way. You know it's going to be a physical game. You know it's going to be an emotional game. Maybe more so this year for Western Oregon. They had a very sad situation. They had a young man, an 18-year-old freshman, killed in a car accident last Friday night. And so uh, that, combined with the fact that they've been on the road for three weeks and this is their home opener, there will be a very, very high level of emotion. And certainly from Humboldt State, we send our condolences uh, to the Western Oregon family for the loss of, of, of a teammate and a young man that, uh, from what I understand, had great promise, but uh, uh, very difficult to go through. Definitely, definitely. What have you seen from uh, Western uh, on offense that your defense will be need to be ready to go? Well, we're going to face a very good passing attack, one of, if not the best passing attack in our conference. Uh, Duckworth, the quarterback, has settled in as a starter. In past years, they've had both Duckworth and, and Fanumiai as starters. Duckworth, the passer, and Fanumiai, the runner. 
Uh, right now, Duckworth has kind of taken over the position, and they're using Fanumia in different roles. Uh, but uh, they, they throw the ball uh, with the best of them, and, and, and two, one of the best in Paul Rivas. Uh, he's, he's been an all-league player since he stepped on the field as a, as a freshman four years ago. Uh, he's, he's been an All-American as, as a re, you know all-purpose yards with his receiving yardage combined with returning punts, returning kickoffs. He's an incredibly dynamic player. So our defense will have their hands full. This is a very, very talented offense that also can run the ball. Uh, they ran the ball effectively last week, but uh, it starts for them. It starts with the pass, but uh, you can't overlook the, the, the run because they can be effective. They've got some very good weapons. Rivas just one of a, a number of receivers that really jump off the screen as you watch their tape. Uh, you know, the, 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 the first two wins so far, uh, Azusa more of a challenge than the, against Simon Fraser. But how do you keep your guys, especially uh, on defense, focused, knowing that we got another opponent and, and they're a good one. They're a very good one, and it you know this it's a cliche, but the season's a marathon. So you know it's great to be two and zero, but no one's going to remember the two and zero start if we stumble, you know, for the remainder of the the season. It's it's one week at a time. Be one and zero that particular week. Uh, we accomplished that against Azusa. We accomplished that against Simon Fraser, and now the goal is it a tough goal, tough task to accomplish that on the road at Western Oregon. So our focus is on this week and this week alone. We're not focused on you know, the, the, the ranking, we're not focused on a B and two. We're focused on Western Oregon. We're focused on trying to continue to take a step forward as a football team. And, and uh, again, it, uh, that's difficult to do week in, week out in our conference. Every single week, it seems that you're going to run up against someone, whether it be home or away, that uh, certainly is capable of knocking you off if you're not fully prepared for, for the challenge, uh, challenge at hand. So. Uh, I said we've got we've got our hands full with Western Oregon. They're a good football team. Uh, they lost to an Idaho State game in the opener. Idaho State turned around and beat Nevada last week. Okay, and then they lost in a close game to Central Washington. And then, and like I said they've been on the road for three weeks. So they're home for their home opener. I'm sure their players are just so excited to be home. Uh, class has started this week at Western Oregon, so they'll have the students behind them, and uh, we're we're stepping into a to a tough tough situation. Uh, how are you guys uh, on the injury front? Uh, pretty good for that aspect. We're really in good shape. Uh, knock on wood. We, uh, uh, you know, last week and we well, we played the first two weeks without James Clark, one of the leaders on our defense, and and James was injured early in the Seti's game, and uh, will return this week at the safety position. And then Ryan McKenzie was injured early in the Azusa game, missed last week also, and he'll be back. So we're we're as close to full strength as we can we can hope to be at this point in the season. I think. Um, you guys did your part on Saturday. We kind of heard uh, we talked about the how many fans were there. 1900 um, seemed like a pr pretty good crowd. But uh, I know you're concentrating on football, and you want to see that uh, community come out and support this Jacks team. But uh, were, were you, were you kind of surprised there were more people, or just there, what are your thoughts on that? Well, again, it, it, we have su such great crowds and such great community support, and the atmosphere that we have. You know, I. I I was sitting watching tape on Sunday, and, and uh, uh, they've got the end zone shot that, that, that goes from the, the north end to the south end of the field, and you can see the grandstands on your left-hand side and that, and the chainsaws down at the far end. And there are very few venues in, in, in college football, certainly Division II football, that can match that. And, and uh, you watch a lot of tape. You know, I'm watching Western Oregon down at Western New Mexico, and, and uh, uh, you know, uh, other other schools and programs are nearly not nearly as fortunate as we are to have what we have. It just there's nothing better than Saturday night in the Redwood Bowl. And uh, uh, again, I thought we had great support. I know as we continue to win, it will increase. Uh, we certainly want our our fans, our community, our alumni to enjoy this football team. Come out and enjoy a, a, a night in the Redwood Bowl. This is a these type of teams don't come along that often, and I, I say that because. We have, you know, so many guys that are three and four year starters for us, and and uh, how often is it that you get to watch a career leader at one position, let alone three positions like we have, an All America tackle uh, who's got NFL teams, you know, coming here every single week, you know, and and a team that plays with the the energy that you see on both sides of the ball. So, 
Uh, I hope the team realizes that this is a special group, uh, or I hope that the community rather realizes this is a special group, and uh, hey, come out and support them, because these guys have, have accomplished a great deal during their careers here at Humboldt State, and it's a good football team. It's deserving of a national ranking right now. I believe we are one of the top 25 teams nationally, and if we continue to perform the way I believe we can, uh, we'll move up from there. So. Uh, again, we've got, uh, what, four more home games, I think it is. Uh, come on out. Have some fun. Make a night of it in the Redwood Bowl because there is no better place. We are so fortunate here in the North Coast to have what we have. And uh, obviously with everything going on, let's, uh, let's come out and, and show that support. Uh, my last question back to the Western Oregon uh, with the afternoon game. Um, do you do anything different to prepare yourself uh, from the coaching standpoint for the, for the players? We really don't. We really don't. The grass is more of a concern, but we've played on grass and you know before, and uh, so it just you know I kind of like it as Nick said. You, you get up, you know we're going to have breakfast, we're going to tape, we're going to board the buses, and we're off to the stadium. And there's not a lot of sitting around, you know that that uh, you have when you have, have evening games. You know down at the zoos it was a 6:30 kickoff, and and the day just seem to drag along. It's fun to watch college football on TV, yes, but uh, you want to be out there playing. So, uh, again, the one, 1 o'clock kickoff, I think it's great. Uh, we're excited to go up there and, uh, and give it our best. Coach, um, I'm going to seize on, on the word energy uh, that you threw out there about five minutes ago. That's one of the things... Um, uh, this team just appears to be very high energy. I think kind of reminiscent of the uh, uh, bold, proved 